Today, 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 thank you guys for joining in. You guys already know what time it is. It's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. What a crazy week we have had so far. If this is your first time joining in, hope you guys hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification, all that good stuff, man. Comment below what you guys think about the video. And if you don't like my page, why are we here, right? <laughs> but nah, seriously. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in, man. I really appreciate it. Really, really do. So today we're gonna go over quality, our dogs and stuff as well. I'm about to, I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna go over all of this, what's this going on. And I'm in the middle of cleaning up, man. So I look like a bum. See my shoes, I'm working, I'm working. Ah. 2010 Focus One. Yo, yo, Tony, what's up, brother? Uh, Terrence Hines, what's going on, brother? Hey guys, I'm just filling up all my dog water bowls for a second. Give me one second. I apologize, man. Um, got some interesting things for you guys today. Let you guys see. This is what I be doing all day, man. I'm telling you, work does not stop. I almost, I almost have to reconsider even doing a live today. But, if I tell you guys I'm going to do something, I'm trying my best to stay to it. So, I'm not going to be on here very long tonight, though. I know sometimes I say that all the time, and then we'd be up here long, doing four-wheeler rides at night time, and all kind of foolishness. But, you guys probably wondering, like, what is he doing? Like, he keeps the camera still. This is what I'm doing. So, you guys. So, I'm dressed like a bum because I'm working. I'm putting the new water dog kennels, new water, water, refilling up the water buckets in the dog kennels right now. So you guys can see an up close video of what it is that I'm doing. So, and, oh, camera's on, got a little ashy, hold on a second. There we go. So I got some, I gotta finish putting up the lights tonight. I had to redo the lights over because of the switch. If you guys remember, I used to have to plug in I used to have a wire, which was not safe, just running a wire from that little box right there outside. And I had a wire just running all the hot wire going to it. So that wasn't safe. So I had to redo all the wire, take everything down, and put everything on the switch over here. That way, everything can be ran by a, um, it's safe. It doesn't have any uh, water, can't get to it. You know, don't want anybody getting struck, lightning, and anything else. So, as you can see, I put it in here now. So it has a safety box, and it works off of a switch, as you guys can see. Let me see. Boom. See that? So instead of having to plug the switch up every time, I can do that. Outside lights. So cut everything off. Oh, working wrong lights. Boom. So then I cut it back on, bam, let there be light. There we go. I know, I'm not done with those lights there. As you can see, I am working on the lights. See the little puppies. So I got my lights. So I even upgraded my lights to LEDs. Bam, see that? This thing is crazy. You can control the lights of how you want it. It's bright as crap. So we got these in the lights. These are the lights. Oh. Yeah, this, I got it right. That's the lights. Where the LED lights plug into there as well. So give me a second. We're gonna go over what's the qualities. I'm gonna respond back to everybody who's messaging. If you got some questions, go ahead and ask those questions right now. You guys know how I do. I'll go through them, answer all the questions for you, and uh, you can get started, man. Like I said, I'm not going to be here long. I've been working, working. You guys, somebody wanted to say hi to you guys, man. Let me go ahead and let say hi. There we go. Y'all going to say what's up? Bump y'all too, then. That's the cows. What's up, Bubbles? Oh, someone's like, 
Let the puppies out. Let the dogs out. I decided to try to come here in a little bit of a light left in the daytime. Let you guys see how the kennels look inside. If you're inside my kennel, this is how it looks. See what I'm saying? Filling up the water buckets. Give you guys this insight. You know, a lot of breeders don't do that for you, man. You know, they show you that. They show you what they want you to see only. They hide all the good stuff. Well, it ain't bad, I guess. Ugh. So I'm in the middle of actually getting out my new, you guys are gonna see next week, I got my new water lines coming back through. If you can see that little line right there, move. Who's that, Goliath, move. See the little what? Goliath, move, man. See the line right there? That's my water line I had before, but I redid my water lines as well too. So there's gonna be no more need of the water hose or anything else. We're gonna just get right to it and have some Turn on the nozzle, like I did before. Water just goes right into the bucket. Make it easy. So there's some things that looks the same, but it makes things easier. And making things easier makes things more productive for the dogs and the kennels and myself. Because I'm one person, you guys. You guys know I'm one person trying to do 10 million people jobs at once. So fill that up with the water. All right, let me see if I can answer some. Talithia, how you doing? How you do? Hey, I have not forgotten. I promise you, I got your shirts. I promise you, I got your free shirts for you. I promise you, I said it on here. I got your shirts. I know I've been prolonging some stuff, but you have before any shirts are sent out. T, you will get your shirts before anybody gets their shirts. I promise you. Um, somebody's gonna win some shirts tonight, actually, as well too. So I'm giving away some free shirts as well, and y'all won't have to wait as long as I got T waiting for her shirts or whatever. She already purchased some shirts. I promise her some more shirts. I have been busy and working crazy, so I got you guys, man, um, as well. Now, I know some of you guys are like, is he going to bring up the Don situation and all that stuff? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> you haven't noticed yet. give away some free t-shirts to you guys man uh, I'm just waiting for my other order to really come in it looks like this it's um, the right word is uh, dang forgot the word this uh, you can't feel it whatever thing is called listen I'm not a t-shirt guy if you say it I know what it is but, uh, boy get your hand off my fingers you said what's up big boy you said what's up big boy Seven month old. I know, big boy. What up, big boy? You want to get out? I should. Y'all guys, I apologize if the wind is coming in your ears. Is the wind loud? Sublimation. There you go, Sky. Sky, you always be saving me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you be knowing what it is. Sky be on it. Appreciate that, Sky. Give me a second, you guys. Hold on. Guy, you get a free shirt just because you actually knew what the answer was. See how easy that was? You get a free shirt. All right, we got one last one to do, and this is it. And you guys got my full attention. You guys know how it is, man. I gotta work, so you guys don't want me to be talking to you guys. The dogs are suffering, right? You guys don't want that. So you're probably wondering, like, why is he? Man, come on. Stop asking like, why is he doing this, the water this way? The reason I'm doing the water this way right now is simply because I have bleached out the, the, I have bleached out the buckets. Cause you don't want to keep just refilling a water bucket up without cleaning it out. It's like eating off the same plate without washing it. So what I did was, I washed it, bleached it, cleaned it, so you don't want that lime and all that kind of stuff to get on it. Um, uh, there's something to be up there. Why are they looking at me? Man, this is scary. They're just looking at me like <laughs> this one right here, always staring at me. Kyra! Kyra! What's up, big mama? Florida! Florida and Kyra. This is. Kyra in Florida. What's up, mama? Nala. 
Mercedes. Nala. What's up, mama? Ah, uh, Chevelle. What's going on, Chevelle? Corvette. What's up, mama? What's up, girlie? All right. And we got a bunch of them out there, man. So. Now, look, Sky said so you are huge because Sky gave me the information on the answer. I'm going to let you out. Come on, mama. Oh, come on. Now, look. Get your big self, mama. Yo, now, look. Come here, baby girl. Don't you brush it with me. Don't you. Oh, shut. <laughs> hey, get your big self on me, mama. Come here, girl. Nala. Don't you bum rush me again. Don't you slow down. There you go. That's your show, love. Let them see. There you go. Belly rub. Belly rub. Belly rub. All right. Come on, Nala. Nala. Let's go. Inside. Come on. Inside. Good girl. Come on. Hey, don't go back out. Come on in. Thank you. She's back in. I gotta finish these lights real. See, the lights are already in here. You guys can see. I even replaced all the lights. See, my lights used to be like right up here. Now my lights are. I'm gonna show you the difference in the light I was telling you about too as well. See how the light looks there? That's a regular light. This light, like, well, this is a regular light too as well. But this light, that's the LED light. That thing is bright. See the difference in the candles? You can see it's more yellowish tone, bright white. So everybody's gonna get the bright white. It's expensive, but hey, you can see it's better. Like, I mean, you can see it. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, you guys, we are almost done. And what's up, y'all puppies? These are all puppies that are seven months and younger right here. Some of them are five months or whatever, six months. Get off of here. What up, beast? What up, beast? Beast, you know what? I really don't be giving you a lot of love because Goliath be trying to steal the attention. So here we go. Let's go. Come on, beast. Beast, come on. Beast, get your butt out of here. You can... Pieces like that, you said don't ever come out without my attention. So I got one hand. I'm trying to hold it. Please come on. Oh my god. See, these fools don't want to come. Move. <laughs> Beast is so respectful, man. He's like, Daddy, you said don't come out. What up, bub? Okay, come on. Get off me, girl. Y'all stop jumping on me. You guys, sorry for the camera. I apologize. I promise you, the camera's gonna stop shaking in about few seconds ah oh, man okay sorry I'm sorry We're done. that's beast right here you guys ah beast beast that boy's a beast for real and I said beast beast what up beast look at that hedge fuck I'm not joking man He's a sweetheart, though. Oh my God, he's a sweetheart. This boy here is—I don't know. Man, let me turn this camera around. Beast, thank you. I appreciate it, Bubba. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that boy, man. That's a six-month-old boy right there. I know, I know, I know, I know. Give me loving. Give me some loving. I know. Wow. <laughs> you alright with me today. You're gonna be my main star tonight. Come on, let's go. Alright, let me cut this water off. You guys. See how I did my water? Look, I'm still gonna show y'all every time I come out here and work this water. I did this myself, my own plumbing. Yeah. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. We are actually. 97% done. 
wind this hose up. You know what? I'm not even winding the hose up. It's going to be too long. Let's get right to it, you guys. I'm about to go into the shop. You guys can see some puppies right quick. And then we're going to get started. So, you guys, we have 31 people. 31 people. I should smash that like button. But I got 60-something people in my chat, man. Let's smash those likes button, you guys, man, so we can get started. So you guys, you know, that just shows me the love that I'm getting, you know what I mean? Those, we hit them like buttons, we can see that, hey, you guys are showing the, hey, we do like this content. You know what I mean? That doesn't cost nothing. You know what I mean? Created here. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Especially you guys that are asking questions. Come on, Bubba. You want to come inside? He's like, I don't know, Dad. We don't supposed to be in here. You coming in? You want to play outside for a little bit? We'll go ahead and play outside for a little bit then. We're gonna have a grown conversations over here then. So all you guys that are actually watching the page, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. It don't, it don't even cost you anything. That's what I'm saying. That's how I know people are like, I'm not hitting that like button. I'm only here just to watch his page. I'm only here to get the information from him. That's all right. That's cool too. If you guys just want the information and that's it, then do your thing, man. I have no problem whatsoever with that as well. Do your thing. You know what I mean? Take the time out of my day. Could have been with my family. But instead, I'm here with you guys. And I don't even get likes, man. I'll tell you the truth. All right. So, let's get. Actually, I'm not even gonna get started until we get like at least 60 likes. Let's do that. 60 heart likes. Give me a thumbs, 60 thumbs up, right? We can't even get 60. We got 80 people in here and not even 60 people to give it to. Okay, let me see. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Uh, trying to get this thing started for you guys, man. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got 52. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Sorry, I'm so close up on the camera. All up in the videos. Got little puppies there. What's up, Bubba? Oh my God! Little fat little belly girl. Ooh wee! We got the fat little belly girl in there. My goodness. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? You'll be going home soon. Congratulations to somebody who's already getting this list. Y'all already know who y'all are. You already got your calls already? These puppies are already sold out. Oh my goodness. That's litter A. So when I reference litter A, litter A, litter B, litter C. This is litter B. Just got somebody on the move. Sorry, Bubba. Little B. What's up, man? Time for a bath, but we should do a bath video, huh? Wanna do a bath video? What's a boy girl? What's a boy? Still at 55, we at 55. Waiting to get to 60. Gotta get to at least 60 before we even get started. Answering questions, everything else. We had 82 people in the building and only 55 thumbs up so far. That is, I think I'm gonna start taking my time for doing this time. Time for another cow video and grind some meat. <laughs> oh, Sky, you, you might be onto something there. Oh. Now we have 60, okay. Let me get to the next. I was going to do it anyway. I'm not going to lie to you. Nah. 
So these are the younger, younger puppies. Let me wash my hands first. Totally didn't even wash my hands when I came back inside. So I did a hand wash like one of my kids did, real hand wash real quick. Let's show you guys the, the. So you got your A litter here. That's B litter here. So you guys that are watching that are on my list, that are on this list, I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. You guys that are on my list that knows about my A litter, when I explain it, A, B litter, you guys will know, okay? If you're not on my list, don't worry about it. Just know A, B. And this is C. Boom, 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 boom. Look at C litter. Look at these little puppies. Their eyes just opened up. Oh. Look at the face on his jokers. Little skulls. The head tights. Yeah, I know. Oh, you want to come with me? You want to come with me? Come on. Come on. Let them see who you are. Let them see. Say hey. Oh, oh, hold on. You guys, give me a second. Let me clean this off. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I know. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I love doing? This is crazy. Watch this. This is what I love. <laughs> They'll suck on your nose. <laughs> but that's a seed litter. Charles, big shout out to Charles. Charles moved up. That's Charles' litter right there too as well. Charles on that litter. <laughs> mm. Gotta wipe that little wet mouth on my nose. Puppy breath is the best, but you know, I gotta still be sanitized and stuff. Okay. Mm. Hold on a second. Oh, my alcohol. I gotta wipe my face back off. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Man, I don't even have my other phone with me. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't even have my phone with me. So normally, I gotta get close to the camera. Hope you guys don't mind me being on this camera right now. Cause I don't have my other phone. Or do I? Hold on one second. Too. All right, so apparently this phone is at 0%, so I'm going to get real up and close with you guys. <laughs> Another kennel calling me. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sorry you guys, I gotta get so close to you guys right quick, I know. Nephi the Rottweiler, Nephi the Rotties, Rottweiler, what's up, Butler? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Lee, what's up, what's up? Welcome, man, King Hoss Kennels. What's good, big bro? I'm gonna be honest with you. I love seeing you guys' kennels' names at the name on here. I love the fact that, you know, so you guys are tuning in getting some knowledge, giving some knowledge, leaving comments as well. I think it's too much people that sees like, man, I don't want, I don't want to comment. I get a lot of people say that they watch my videos, but they never comment. And some people are for different reasons. Yes, you guys, I've taken my hat off for the first time in I don't know how long. Boy, it's hot. It is hot. So yes, I do have hair, okay? You know, some people may ask me like, I just always wear a hat, okay? So yes, I do have hair. Sometimes I'll shave it, sometimes I'll get it Mr. Clean or whatever, but yes, I do have here. Um, da, 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 da. Sky said, we are back. 
Is that country boy singer stopping by tonight? I need to hear that song again. Jill! Oh man, y'all wanna hear the country boy sing? <clears throat> right on my track. No, I'm just playing. Not, not tonight. <laughs> Jill, maybe later on. We got you guys. So I'm gonna get right to it, you guys. Once I answer some of these questions, I'm gonna get right to the point of this video because so I won't be on here too long. What's up, Mr. Pete? Mr. T, just checking in on the Friday Night Live. Truman Scott, you know what's up? Talithia, hey Tony, loving what you're doing always. Thank you very much for all your support, T. I really appreciate you. T, you know you got your shirts. I promise you I got you. Hey Tony, I'm back. Nancy C, welcome back. The real Aaron Collins, salute. Josh Mello, what up, Josh? I need a t-shirt. <laughs> Win a t-shirt, I got you. Make sure I can get a free t-shirt. I've been wanting a shirt for a long time. Lee, <laughs> you've been wanting a jacket. And I told you, I got you. So, uh, yeah, I got you too, Lee. That's a size large, sir. <laughs> Good evening, Tony, and to all. Uh, Sublimation shirts, I need a 4X. I got you. I got. What up, Smoke? I got you, Bubba. No need to do that, Tony. You already covered the issue with Don in your last level. He's a hater. Yeah, you're right. We don't got to go over that. Uh, the Aaron, the real Aaron Collins. Just salute to you, my brother. Uh, thanks. Finish. No rush. We are watching. I know we're a one-year-old monster. <laughs> Arlen got that big old green monster bear dog in his yard, man. He's got a dog. Big shout to Arlen. Arlen's still been dodging me from coming down to show you guys. Everybody tell Arlen right now. Text Arlen. Tell Arlen to come on bring that dog down so we can see. Um, see, now I'm at 2%. So I'm trying to get my phone to charge enough so I can see these comments are being all close. Um, Nala is huge. She is. Okay, cool. Tony, you named the dogs after Chevys. <laughs> Only one way to beat baby Chevys. Um, if I do name one, I, I can see Shelby. Maybe Shelby. That's a, my, probably not. Everybody else is so jealous. They do get jealous when one dog is out. Yeah, LED looks better. The haters are coming for you, Tony, because they can't be you. Oh, you know that already, Aaron. You know that, baby. If you ain't got haters, you ain't, you ain't doing something right, man. Open wing. Uh, Beast is an excellent representation of the breed. Very handsome. I appreciate that. Hit the like button so the videos can get started on the YouTube algorithm. Absolutely appreciate that, Sky. Sky, I'm going to make you a moderator. <laughs> Does he only breed Rottweilers? Yes, I only breed Rottweilers. Okay, thanks for clarifying. Great job on doing what you do, B-Block. Yes, that is... That is oh. that a good boy, good gal. We truly appreciate the time spent and saluted for it. No problem. He will probably only answer you in a sec. LOL. What's up, Big Tone? LOL from Kansas. Just started breeding. Is it important to have AKC dogs in my program to be successful, or is it purely quality? Um, I answer that question in a second. I got you guys, because that's actually going to go into this thing I have. So be patient with me, Sherrod, Chad. I got you. Elijah, Louise, where do live in Louise? Where do live in Kansas? I used to live in Kansas. Uh, we're in Texas, so let's talk to somebody else. Time to another video. Kyle, puppies are beautiful. My dad breeds Rottweilers, awesome. Baby Pensacola, what's up, T. Pete, St. Petersburg, Florida? What's going on? I'm cleaning mine now. Jill, what's going on, Jill? Those faces are so adorable. Butler Kennel's the greatest to do it. I appreciate that, man. I love the ones with the distinctive markings. Did you go to the Enroll Spence fight? Did you go to the, oh, no, I didn't. Um, I'm coming, bro. What's your favorite movie TV with Roddy's? Can we laugh at the guy on that Facebook with the Labrador and Doberman mix? <laughs> yeah, I will block the haters, just kidding. All right, you guys, <laughs> this guy use something else. All right, so check this out. All right, so we're gonna get right into it, man. I'm not gonna have you guys long. I know it's already been 30 minutes into it, um, 29 something minutes into it. You guys, um, I'm not gonna go over any more hated guys, man. Not giving them more time, up, not giving them any more of my platform. Sorry, I do speak fast. You just gotta listen, pretty, listen pretty quick as well, too. So I apologize if I speak too fast. Just tell me, hey, talking too fast, man. Sometimes I get excited about the information I wanna give to you guys, man. I really want you guys to to really see what, um, hold on, let me do this for you guys right quick. You guys don't want to see me the entire time, right? I'm trying to give you guys a better view. If you guys can see, but they're just sleeping right now anyway. Just gonna pick one 
this. So, um, why is his face that way? Look at this one face. Pushed in to the dang on thing. But anyway, all right, stop with that. I will forever appreciate the love you showed me. No problem, man. No problem. That's what it's all about, man. I don't mind giving that love out. Spread that love, baby. That's what it's all about. John Zalon, wait. Let me see that last time. <laughs> Jake, what's up, big boy? Is that the... Hold oh, up. I got something in my hand. Is that the gate you brought in Lowe's? No, no, heck no. No, no, no. I'm going to show you guys a surprise. That gate and everything we got in Lowe's is a different, whole different pop. When are you going to start showing updates on the puppies you already sold in the future? Truman, if Arlen Green ever gets started, you guys can start by telling Arlen Green he needs to come and bring his dog so we can get the, you know, the follow-up. Um, but I will start. I just got a lot of stuff going on as well. Okay, so here are some of the biggest questions we get all the time, man. And uh, well, now I'm not going to do that. Let's get into what is quality. Um, you know, everybody's got a different definition of what their quality is. Oh, God. Hold on a second. Sorry, you guys. I don't have a whole team of camera guys with me following me. I'll go to the side like this. Can we see some of the dogs moving around? So what is quality? What makes your dog quality? Uh, what do you look for in a dog when you're getting a dog? Um, what's some of the signs to do first um, as far as the research? People can tell people um, it's, it's, it's a long list and I wish I would have got prepared for this. Honestly, guys, I'm going to be honest that topic is something that my topics are not just written down all week. It's the honest truth, so I just give it to what I got. So quality to me, let me just say to me, um, when I look at quality, the first thing is, it's not about the paperwork. I'm going to tell you now, it's not about the paperwork first off. AKC does not mean quality. When I say paperwork, I'm talking about AKC. Um, someone asked a question about, should I breed AKC dogs first and everything else to be successful? There's so many different accolades that levels that leads to success. It's not one. You can have the best dog and the worst customer service and people probably won't buy dogs from you. You can have the worst dogs and the greatest customer service, people probably won't buy dogs from you. You can have, you know, great, you're a great person, the dogs look good, but dogs have bad health. You're not, it's not gonna probably be successful because eventually people are gonna get it out there and talk about your dog's clients as well. So what makes and success and quality, and there's some people who have quality dogs, but don't can't sell dogs either as well. So like I was saying, you can have great quality dogs and breeders. So when people ask me like, what am I actually looking for when I'm going to buy a dog? Like what, how do I know I'm having a quality dog? Um, I'm not gonna bring up anybody else's dog anymore, man. Honestly, it's, it's a joke. Um, but let's talk about for me. Um, so first thing is having AKC, let me get that out the way first. AKC does not mean you got quality dog. Having a dog with a fancy name inside of it does not mean you have a quality dog. Um, um, you know, it's all about, it's all about, uh, it's, AKC just shows that that dog was, it just shows the history timeline. It's a, it's a club. AKC Kennel Club, that's what it's called, American Kennel Club. It's a club that's designed to go back to your dog's history. You can go all the way back in your dog's history. If you've got a history of trash, then you've got a history of trash. Don't mean that because it's AKC, don't mean that that dog is, is quality. Someone mentioned to me yesterday on Instagram that, yeah, my dog is because I got AKC papers. Like, that's the total crap. And don't be fooled by that either. Breeders that know that you don't know the difference in it, they're gonna tell you all day, hey, yeah, man, this is, 
I got AKC, I got papers. So papers automatically mean you got a quality dog that's not, okay? So cancel that out the way, that's not quality. Having it, now having a dog without papers, you could have a quality dog without papers, but I personally would not recommend breeding dogs without papers. Um, you get so much confusion, you don't know where this dog is from, you know nothing about this dog. People can lie about, and people can lie about AKC paperwork as well too, don't get it twisted now. Um, don't, get, don't get it wrong. Um, there are people who's always gonna do some slick stuff. Um, I recommend, um, if you're gonna get a dog from a breeder with AKC paperwork, you can always get your DNA tested on your dogs to make sure those parents' dogs are what they say they are. All of my dogs have DNA papers. So if I tell you you got a dog off a tank and, and whatever female, you can take your dog to anything and get a testing done and see if that matches the mom and dad that I have. And it's just gonna match 1,000%. If not, you get $10,000 automatically. So, but there are people that will use fake paperwork from other people, other breeders and stuff. Like this. So it's always a scam. There's always somebody who's gonna to try to do something to try to get over on somebody. But that's for another story or whatever. Um, when you have a dog without papers, I highly recommend not breeding that dog. Um, if you get a dog without papers, don't fall for the number one thing breeders tell you, hey, I lost my paper, the paper lost in the fire, I'm waiting the paperwork or whatever the case is. Don't fall for that jumbo lie. Um, nowadays, you can, you can do it online and it can be there. It's called Breeders Toolkit. It saves everything in the system. Um, you can go back 10 years, 20 years, or however long you've had your dogs or whatever cases, and it'll pull it all back up for you. So don't let somebody lie to you and tell you um, they just, just lost the papers and they, they'll find it years from now or whatever. Most breeders will try to hope that you buy that. Once you buy that dog, it's over and done with. Um, and they're never going to talk to you again. Um, I got a call today from Kevin. Kevin got a dog for me, man. Kevin picked his dog up already. And it's an amazing feeling seeing that when a client calls you and says, hey, Tony, man, I just want to call you back and tell you I appreciate this dog. This dog has been amazing. Um, everything about this dog I just love, man. The quality, you can see it. Like, it's not some cute little puppy, but you're hoping the dog turns into something better later on. Like, I'll show you for example, watch this. I'm gonna show you guys. See, this is when you're talking about a quality litter. See, when some people come up there, I'm just going to, I'm gonna pick any dog while looking at you guys. I'm not gonna even know which dog is. I'm just gonna pick any dog. This is a quality dog, regardless which dog I want to pick up. Now, some people are going to try to pick you and tell you, hey, they try to show your biggest favorite dog first. They're going to, this is a cute little girl. What's up, mama? Show the tongue. See the tongue? See the tongue? Never see the tongue. <laughs> so, I don't have to push up on the head and all this kind of stuff, make it bigger. I just pick it up from the body, you can see. Now people try to do like this and make the dog look all, get all in the camera on the dog, make it look so huge and everything else. But no, it's just, you see the quality of the dog. Now, uh, so that's just a random pick. It was a female, by the way, and people always think females are always small. So um, next thing is, does the dog head style make your dog quality? The answer is no. Just because your dog has a big head, that shouldn't be the first and only thing you look at. Having the biggest head dog does not mean you have a quality dog. Um, big head dog just mean they got a big head. Is, 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 some people get lucky and get a big dog. And, but we breed for the overall appearance of the dog, not just the big head. Because I've seen some dog got a big old head and a little body trying to keep the head up running around and the body looks weird as I don't know what. So you don't want just a big body or a big body and a little head dog. You want for a nice structure of a dog that, that grows that way. Now, quit doing this, okay? Lord have mercy, quit doing this. Two things, stop doing. Stop calling me about dogs you got from somebody else. I don't care, I don't know, I'm not gonna give you any answer on that dog. I don't know, I don't care. Quit spending your money on another breeder but then come to me and want my my intellectual skills on your dog that you decide to spend your money 
Like a guy come, hey, I watch all your dogs in your videos, Tony, man. You are the best dogs, man. I love your dogs, man. But I just didn't want to wait, so I bought a dog from over here. What do you think about my dog? Well, you bought a dog from somebody else. Number one, I know nothing about that dog. Then go take your butt on to that person and let that person tell you exactly what it is. If that person is good enough to get your money, that person should be good enough to get an air full of questions you have, not me. You know what I mean? If you want my honest opinions about things, you can, for consult, you can definitely pay. It's 30, it's 30 minutes for $100. It seems too much for you, then it's too much for me to hear what you got to say, honestly. I mean, it's not me being a butt, not anything else, but I can't waste my time of the whole day, man, answering questions about what everybody else got going on with their dogs and not my dogs. So, um, that's enough with that. Um, but, other thing is, I hear the dogs barking. It's, oh my God, it's annoying. Not annoying, they're singing, they're howling, the noise or whatever. Um, second thing is, you guys have to stop doing this as well, man. Stop letting these breeders tell you guys that you gotta stop buying a dog from someone else with the hopes of that dog looking like mine you got from someplace else. I don't produce dogs that look like anybody else's dog. So don't even send me a picture of another kennel's dog and says, hey man, can you breed this? Like, no, I don't have that dog. I don't, someone asked me that question before, man. What do you think about this dog? If it's they come in my kennel, I have no opinions about it. I'm not gonna play that because too many people play too many games, man. It's like, we wanna catch them and saying something negative about somebody else's dog. Because if you went on somebody's page, which I highly encourage, go to people's page, look at their dogs, and if you look at their dogs and that dog made you go, oh, I love that dog, go buy from them. I can't, I mean, not only just go buy from them, but you know, do your research on them and make sure that it's not a fake photo or they've been producing dogs that look that way consistently. That's the biggest thing you gotta understand. Um, you have to make sure that the dog, um, I think, you have to make sure that the person who's selling these dogs are selling dogs consistently the same look, the quality of the dog. Because some people get really lucky on a good litter, and the next litter look like pure trash, and the next litter look like trash, and the next litter look like trash. And then all of a sudden they got one good litter or one good puppy, and they just show you one puppy, and that's it. Um, um, and that's just about, and that's just about, you know what I mean? Um, People who, it's just too many slick things, man. So don't get caught up off of one litter. Like, don't get caught up in a breeder, like, even right now. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to see something. I know, come here. Get one of y'all, anybody. So don't get caught up in somebody saying, yo, look at that puppy right there. Tell me that's not quality right there, right? This is a boy. What's up, man? Anyway, so don't get caught up in someone just showing you a quick puppy. Hey, there you go, man. I got a puppy. Boom. Man. Check out the dad. Check out the mom. Check out um, grandparents. Check out the dogs they bred beforehand. Check out all that kind of stuff. That way you get a good idea about the dogs you have bred. That shit is sweaty, man. I don't know why I just don't turn the air on, but I just haven't. Anyway, so if you guys, I feel weird with that hat on. I don't know why, I just feel weird. Like, hat is just, I don't know. <laughs> so if, if you're going to get a dog of quality, make sure that quality is not a one set rule for everybody. Um, get a dog that's going to set the standard of what you like. See, this biggest thing that people are saying, what is the standard of the dog? And back in 1970s, and some people aim to go back to 1970s and how they look. If you personally ask me in 1970, I hate that look. That look is not the look of a Rottweiler that I remember growing up. So to me, a Rottweiler is what I remember when I first saw it and the dogs that I love. So don't get a dog from someone that has a dog that looks like Mighty Mouse and you're hoping that dog turns out to look like one of my dogs that you've seen over continuously over and over and over and over again. 
You see what I'm saying? So make sure that you do your research. And don't just buy a dog because of a cute puppy, the way it looks really cute. That is the worst way to buy a dog. Do not buy that. Because I can show you some dogs right now that have started off really small in my kennel. Maybe the smallest one in the kennel. That now you guys are like, dang, that dog is nice. It didn't have a big head when it was born. Maybe it didn't have the biggest head as the other ones and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot to it. You just can't go off of what I see in front of me right now. You just can't go off of and stop doing this. Because a lot of people, breeders, love to show their male dogs and have this small, skinny-looking female that look like pure garbage. And I don't care, overseas do it, and the states do it. Um, you know, they show this tiny, skinny little female and this big old masculine male, and you're hoping that your dog turns out like that male. But your puppy has to split DNA from both of those parents. And sometimes, in most cases, the mother genetics has a very strong genetic gene in that gene pool of the new babies that's coming. So don't just look, I hope mine turns out like that one male only. I hope it turns out. That's why I like getting um, females from males and females um, of quality as well too. So if you have that, that makes it a really, really good thing um, as well. So let's get that started, man, you guys. So let's educate yourselves before buying dogs. Don't fall for somebody telling you, yeah, man, I got dogs and hurry up and buy it right now. Um, hurry up and buy it right now before buy it before it sells. No, don't fall for those gimmicks, man. If somebody pressuring you into getting a dog, quality is going to sell itself. I promise you. I'm going to be honest with you. And this is not, I'm not capping. I'm not trying to, you know, do like flex. Or, I mean, I'm flexing a little bit, but okay, a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I've never sold a thing. I've never advertised a single dog for sale. Like, I've, met, I've had advertisements of litters that were already sold out that I clearly mentioned, but I don't advertise dogs. I'm the Ferrari of that. You never see a Ferrari commercial. Why? Because Ferrari knows what they have. Ferrari doesn't have to say, hey, I got a million dollar car and it's hard to sell. Or what? They're like, hey, look, we let you guys talk for me, man. We don't have to do anything else. We put the quality in this, the quality in this car and allow you to see it. That's why everybody doesn't have one. Everybody doesn't have a uh, Ferrari because they can't afford it. It's prestige. People put a lot of money and time into that car, so everybody can't get it. But those that do have it, steps apart. And as far as my dogs, my dogs aren't the cheapest. So if you're looking for the cheapest dog, don't come to me. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a TikTok that goes and says, hey, look, don't come to me if you're looking for the cheapest dog. Don't come to me if you, you want this. But if you want the best, then you come to me. You know, I am not your cheapest. I am not the guy that's gonna be cheapest. I don't negotiate prices. I don't. That's why when I go to people's businesses, I don't negotiate their prices. I don't go to Walmart and says, hey, Walmart, man, I've been coming to y'all for 10 years, man. You know what I'm saying? Give me that discount on this bread. You, you, you get that five figure discount you want, you had in jail. Walmart doesn't care how long you've been buying with them. Michael Jordan doesn't care how much time you bought their shoes or how long you stood in line for their shoes. So we got to stop doing that to the people that has businesses as well and respect those businesses as well. So if you call me about, hey man, give me that discount, man, you might get a dial tone. Well, you won't really get a dial tone, but I'm just going to tell you right now, don't, don't do that, man. It's, it's really, it's a slap in the face to any, any small business owners that's pitting in their product um, and doing it. I don't really get a lot of that. I'm just saying, just in general, don't do that with anybody um, in general. If you don't like their prices, then just move on. You know what I mean? Um, you don't have to sit there and say, well, now I do get some time people tell me, why are your dogs prices this way? I had dogs back in 1980. I should, sell, I should get a dog for 300 bucks. Well, then go back to 1980s, travel, go back and get a dog for 300 bucks. It's not me. I'm not in competition with anybody. I'm not trying to negotiate the best prices. I am negotiating the, the best dogs in the world, period. That's why I put best of the best, and I really mean that. Um, so anyway, enough about that. So back to the quality dogs. Um, paperwork, bloodlines, and all that kind of stuff has a part to do with quality, um, but doesn't mean that it's automatically quality. Hey, be quiet! Like they're really gonna listen to me. So, Quality, so a bloodline, let's say for instance, let's say for example, right? Rest in peace, I'm gonna use his name because he's gone and I don't want anybody trusted to say it. So TK New Yorker is a very beautiful dog. 
a male dog, he's passed away, he's gone now, he's not alive anymore. So let's say you got a dog up him, but he produces, he's a really nice male, a very beautiful male, very beautiful. Um, he has a very nice dog, he, 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 he himself was very beautiful. Um, but you use that dog and breed it with a, a subpar female, you might get some trashy looking puppies. Just because that male has a, a huge name and a huge following, don't mean that you're going to get a top dog because that one dog is, uh, is, because a dog has a champion name. You know what I mean? That's like, if, just because LeBron breeds, LeBron's a basketball player for those that don't follow basketball. LeBron's a basketball player. And if LeBron have kids with 10 different women, all his kids are going to be different. You know what I mean? If he breeds with a woman, just because he's LeBron, don't mean all his kids are gonna be great at basketball. You know, don't mean they're all gonna look uh, whatever. If you take the world's sexiest woman or the world's sexiest man and he has kids with everybody, their kids are not gonna all be handsome or beautiful or whatever the case is, you know what I mean? So it's all about how you, so don't get caught up in just the name. It's the reason why when I tell you guys, I don't show my dog bloodlines and I don't never post it about where my, now, I do let you guys, when you guys come and see your dog, you see all the champions and all that kind of blah stuff and you like, I don't care about the champions' names because the champion names, just because the dog's a champion, don't mean they are. But I do know you guys getting a dog like that feeling of knowing you got a champion puppy where the bloodlines is all champions and everything else, not far back in the mama or grandma or whatever. It's in the, the dad, mom, grandma, whatever the case is like that. So it makes you feel good about it. So that's why I showed my guys and gals, when you guys come and get your dogs, you know the quality you're gonna get, you know it. There is no guessing about this and that. Um, but most importantly, that's why it's the last thing I show you because I want you to see the quality in the dogs itself. I can go outside and let you guys pick a number right now and I'll pick like, no, I'm good now because I'm outside. But you can pick any number you want and I'll pick that number and I'll come to dogs and I'll bring that dog out and you'll see the quality in that dog. I don't have to show one male or one Hulk or one Tang or one Barack or one Sting, one, one whoever, you know what I mean? Goliath or one uh, Beast or Chevelle, I mean, Corvette males, I mean, Nala, Ser Serbia. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, man. When you got quality dogs, I show my dogs. And I know for sure some people are gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that or whatever. But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I think a lot of times it's like, you get caught up into some people are like if if <laughs> somebody said it and it really made a thing sense says if he looked a little differently i bet you guys would be applauding him so much and differently or whatever the case is um i've seen people who dogs were complete trash and because they look different than me people praises them yes awesome and they form these little clicks and you know what i mean or whatever but my praises really come from you guys that are buying my dogs, loving the dogs, supporting the channel. Man, I don't care if you're black, white, German, green, orange, Serbian. I don't care where you're from, man. Uh, I show everybody the same respect, the same love, the same gratitude as anybody. You know what I mean? You can be black, white. I don't care. Like, I've never treated somebody different because of how they look and who they are. I want you to buy a dog for me because of the work I do. Not because of my skin color, but just buy a dog for me because of my work. You know what I mean? Um, but my dogs are, you know, like I say, I could be, I'm the best and I stand by that. I challenge anybody, man. Um, you know, I don't care. Some people are like, well, does making your dog go to the dog shows quality? No, I've said that many times. And if anybody disagree with that, get off my page right now. Because if you think that because you took your dog to a show or you got to rip your dog is quality, Man, I promise you, you can Google, just Google champion dogs and dogs that have won champions and look at their dogs. I know in the image in your head, you see this big, beautiful rock wall running around the ring and stuff. No, that's not how it is in real life. There are people that have dogs that look like trash to me. Trash. Like, I swear, I wouldn't even, you couldn't even give me the puppy for free and I wouldn't take that dog. And there are people winning these little shows and sometimes there are only three Rottweilers in the whole show and everybody gets written because there's only three participants in that class. And it's so much people that have little cliques they're a part of um, in doing that. So 
being a part of a dog show, I commend anybody that does it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, getting your dogs in the rings and doing that kind of stuff. That's fine. And like I'm like I'm not downplaying anybody who does dog shows. If you do it, you got my applaud. Hats off to you. Well, I'm give my hat on, but salute. Um, it's just that breeders, different breeders care about different things. Um, I'm not about the world. I don't care about trying to impress the world about what I do. I want the world to see what I do by showing you guys it. Um, there are so many people in the shows that are like friendly friends. There are so many people that are politics. They are like, it's so political, man. Like we don't like this guy over here, this person over here, this one here and all this kind of stuff. I've seen people go to shows because they know their friends are judges and they're gonna look out for them. Like, let's be honest. Like, let's be 1,000% honest. If, if my brother is, or let's say you have a brother and you work at McDonald's, some of you guys are going to give him extra fries or throw a burger in there or whatever, you know. Some of y'all do it all the time, you know what I mean? Or have gotten stuff because you're friends with somebody who works at a restaurant or be able to get in places because you know somebody. The same thing works in the, sh in the shows, man. These people know people. I've seen people overseas that have gotten champions. And it's like, y'all are the best friends. Y'all eat everything together and y'all win these shows. I'm looking at the dog like, what the crap is that? Like, what in the world is they doing? Like, like I know you guys may think that the quality is all in the championships and all that kind of stuff. And because the image of what the world portrays you to think, if you don't see it in your mind, you picture something that's not real. Like, for instance, you picture being overseas that these dogs overseas and the kennels are some amazing kennels and they're just better than the ones in the United States, that they have such a great quality living and everything else. And I promise you, some of you guys will see those dogs and be like, man, what in the world? I would not even buy a dog. Like, if you saw those dogs, the SBCA would go and pick those dogs up in a heartbeat, like, if they were here in the United States. Not all of them, but a lot of those kennels are like, filthy they live in the house like 20 dogs in one room and all that kind of stuff so some of these countries are not the most richest countries as well either so don't get it twisted um but what gets me is seeing someone tell me no i'm not gonna do that um you got people that would say well I don't, I'm not bashing overseas because all of my dogs came from overseas. But it's funny how I see these dudes like, this is what you call politics, right? The same people who hate on my dogs are telling the people who I got my dogs from, they're great, awesome. But not this guy, man. I don't like him. So his dogs don't look good. See how political that is? Like, I like, <laughs> I like this shirt. But when somebody else puts it on, I like it. But when Butler Kendall puts it on, I'm gonna be hateful, I'm gonna be jealous or whatever. But anyway, that's enough about politics and all that kind of stuff, hateful and people, man. Um, so, quality. So back to quality is about what is it that you want in your dog? I think the biggest thing about a quality dog is a quality dog don't have to be papered. And although I would recommend it to be papered, I would recommend that people who breed dogs should breed dogs as papered. I've never always had bred paper dogs growing up. We didn't have paper dogs. Paper was the last thing we cared about. We just cared about a dog that was gonna be with a family and it's gonna be amazing um, as well. So if you, if you are going to, if you're going to uh, get a dog for what you want, have in mind first, if you guys hear me sometime, I call, if, you, if you call me, I ask you guys three questions. It's going to be four because it's going to be what male or female, what are you looking for? Have that in mind before you call me. What do you want, a male or female? If you're undecided, explain to me what your situation is and everything else. Um, two, what is your purpose for the dog? Like, what is your purpose? Like, you got to have a purpose. I'm wanting a dog because I'm in a bad neighborhood. I want a protection dog that's going to really be the dog that's going to go after what I'm looking for or somebody that's going to keep breaking in my house. I feel I feel like I'm in the house by myself all the time and someone's always in the, you know, whatever. Or I got grandkids and I want a dog that's going to be around the grandkids and all that kind of stuff. So 
having the quality dog for you would be a dog that matches what you're looking for and you can do that you see what i'm saying um that's the biggest thing about that's the biggest thing about um uh about getting the quality dog and getting the right dog for you i guess quality and getting the right dog because i can get you a dog right now that's quality that's nice masculine nice head structure nice body structure nice everything tone color markings pigmentations the mouth and eyes and health everything is right except for that dog's uh, temperament that's not a quality dog for you it's not the right dog for you so make sure you understand that your breeder can get you a dog specifically designed to what you want breeders should ask you that question what are you looking for a breeder trying to sell you a dog without even asking what you're looking for man that's going to be Hold on a second, you got my phone went to 5%. Good thing I got a charger. Bam! There we go back. So if you So if you have a dog and you're about to buy a dog and this breeder hasn't asked you any questions about what you're looking for in the dog, what's your steps in the dog, man, just go out of the way. You know what I mean? Um, he just wants your sales. Stop going to people that just make you feel pressure about buying dogs. Stop doing that. Stop, 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 stop. That's not somebody who cares about your well-being. That's not somebody who cares about giving you the right dog. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just having the biggest head puppy in the litter doesn't mean that you got a quality dog, man. Stop like this. I do things better than explaining it. So sometimes it takes me longer to explain it to you guys. But I got this thing in my head that I want you guys to grasp it, man. Like stop letting these breeders fool you guys, man. It's annoying. It's, it's aggravating. That these people, it's like, and I say so much breeders use so much stuff to talk trash, man. Um, which one? Somebody said a puppy is trying to get some camera time. I don't know. Who's going to get camera time? It's definitely uh, in the, oh, over here? Let me see. Who's up? The only one with his eyes open is right there. Let me see. Whatever. They say you can't get some camera time. I think it's you they're talking about. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. So, okay. So, let's go over a puppy. Thank you. Give me, don't give me no tongues, man. Give me a little tongue tongues. Give me a little tongue tongues. There you go. Appreciate you. Give me a little tiny tiny. Thank you. All right. So, as you guys can see, you know, this is uh, one of our puppies. So, I look at the coat, you know, the structure. Now, sometimes you can't just go all based off the puppies as well because sometimes I've seen puppies start off with a very regular snout. And that's now, by the time they get older, it's a long snout. That's why you look at the parents. Parents are really good indicators and grandparents are really indi good indicators about what you're going to have. You know, some dogs, they look really perfect in the beginning and then get older and the puppies look like a dang on pushed in puppy all the way, right? Um, so a lot of times people tell you, yeah, see that cone in the head? That means the head will be big. Boom. I'm just saying that because I remember growing up, this guy was trying to sell us a dog. He was like, yeah, see that big cone on the head? It's got to spread out. It's going to get muscled big and all that. Shut up. Look at his dogs now. The dog had a little head probably the size of a peanut. And dog never got big. You think he, you think he said, hey, man, you got a warranty with that dog? That dog didn't get no warranty. The only warranty you got is you warrant that money over. He, he don't care. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, don't be up, be up my face now. So the puppy here is a little wet. You can see, of course, been laying in the water back and forth for the ears. Now, if your dog ears is naturally like this, naturally, look, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, walk away. All right? Rottweilers don't have a uh, big ear. Their ears are supposed to be triangular. See that? Now, I've never had to tape my dog ears. People call taping the dog ears. 
a lot of people have had to like fold their dog's ears and tape it to get the right fold, I guess, or whatever. I guess it's called training the dog ears. I've never done that. Um, thank God, knock on wood, I just never had to. But you want nice triangular ears. You see that? You see that? And they're looking that way. Now, of course, you can't go, the puppy is still growing and all that kind of stuff, but you can kind of get an idea if the ears are like already wrong and just like, that's just, you know, it's not supposed to be that way. Now, not saying that it can't correct itself. Now, of course, you want your dog's teeth to be the right bite. You see that? Hey, man, let them see your teeth, man. I'm sorry, man. The right bite teeth or whatever you want those gum pigmentation people like the dark dark pigmentation they like the oh you got a thing in your eye mama I'm sorry <laughs> there you go I got it out for you look at that mama I got it out for you <laughs> um, eyes colors nose certain measurements from the nose to the crown of the head all that stuff, but you can't do it right now. Like I said, they're still growing. This is a red one. I'm gonna show you the difference. This guy was a girl. You see, you got that was a boy. So red was a boy. So we got purple, and you can kind of see as the ears are folded triangular as well too. Mouth, scissors, bite, mark. You see the little pigmentations on the gums and everything else. Now, all this is still developing as well, you guys. So don't think that this is all it is. It's going to be. It's just that. Man, make sure you guys check your dog's uh, collars. Because hers is a little snug. I don't, I don't like my dog's a little snug. Can't breathe now. I gotta, oh, God, dog, girl, you are. That means a good thing, you know. Put this on there. All right, so I'm not gonna be here too long left, you guys. I want you guys to know. Gotta know, gotta know, gotta know, gotta know. Let me check all my dog collars, if you're good. Mm. Oh, yeah, good. And this one is bigger. You want to know another way to find out you got quality dogs if you're getting a quality dog from another breeder that's good is that that breeder don't mention other breeders names negatively a breeder that hates is down on their luck and would want to see everybody hate a successful breeder that has great dogs and not worried about anybody else praises all the people see them uplift them if a breeder mentions my name or mention anybody else's name in the negative light walk away i'm gonna tell you right now I don't care, walk away. If they mention other breeders, now, I'm not saying they don't clap back. You, know, you gotta clap back sometimes, what well, you did yesterday a little bit, but um, you gotta clap back sometimes. But don't let breeders come up the way and like, for example, I'm not gonna even say the breeder's name, I'm not gonna even say their name, it's okay. So this guy says, hey man, I was thinking of buying a dog from you, Tony. Um, and I did what you told me to do. I looked around, I called around, see some stuff, which I highly recommend, call around. The reason why I'm gonna tell you to call around is, I don't want you to get a dog from me and you don't know how good of a dog you're gonna get. That's why I want you to look around. See, Ferrari wants you to drive that, that Pinto first, drive that, or a Bentley. Let's go with a Bentley, right? Let's say you buy, man, they're gonna be real, let's, let's just get more down. Let's say a BMW or Mercedes, right? Mercedes wants you to drive that Toyota Corolla, 1962 Toyota Corolla. Drive that Pinto, because the Toyota Corolla now is nice. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I had to say 1960 something. But drive some of those cars, but then you compare them to the BMW and the Mercedes and these luxury cars now, and you see the difference. When you ride it, like, whoo, man, this is nice. But if your first drive is a Mercedes, you don't even know how good of a car ride you got it until you ride something else that's worse. So look around at people's dogs, man. Look at them. Check them out. 
It's not being cocky, it's just being confident that I am confident that if you see my dog and you like it, you're only gonna love it in person. Because these pictures and videos that I do don't show my dogs on justice. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that, uh, I love it. So, um, yeah, uh, if a breeder has to keep somebody else's name in their mouth or mention somebody else's name, just ask them, why you gotta talk to this other breeder if I'm buying dogs from you? But anyway, as the story goes, the guy was buying a dog for me, or well, not for me, he was, well, you guess he was, inquiring about a dog for me. And he said, Tony, I decided to look around and, you know, I did what you told me to do. I, I called around and I told this guy and I mentioned your name. And I said, man, I'm thinking about getting a dog with Oh, man, Buck Kennels. Oh, man, man, man. I mean, I heard he don't, I heard this, man, I heard that. Like, who, who's they? Like, first of all, the second, who's they? Who's the guy you want the dog from? Like, who's the people that's, because the only people I know be hating on me is all the breeders. I don't hear clients. Like, <laughs> I don't hear clients speaking about the dog they got from me that they hate so much. Never that. Never that. I hear people like, man, don't buy from him. Don't do this, this, that. Man, his dog's this. He don't do the testings on his dog. He don't take his dog to the bed. He don't, this is what all, this is all what I've heard so far. This is some of it. I don't have enough space for my dogs. I got too much dogs for me to take care of. Uh, my dogs don't have a building to be in, which you guys have seen buildings from the time you got started, which is stupid. You got to land, I have more land than, I don't, whatever. Um, I'm puppy mill. Uh, uh, man, he has so much stuff, I don't know what to do, man. Um, uh, he don't test his dogs, and there's so much craziness, man. And it's like, people worry more about what I have going on than people worry about their own kennels. And like I say, if people spend half the time worrying about their own dogs and their own kennels, they will be in a better place, I promise you. In such a better place. Um, let me get to some of you guys' questions. I know it's been a while. Hold on a second. I got you guys. I promise you. Gotta turn on my... Oh, shoot. I did something. I gotta turn on my um, mobile hotspot. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if people were more concerned about what they do with their own kennels, man, they'd be such a great place. So anytime, if anybody inboxes you, questions you, texts you, if mentions, mentions anybody, I don't care if it's just me or anybody, just ask that person why they have to mention somebody else's dog's name if they're selling it. Um, you know, it's too much negativity in this world already for people to be worrying about the next person, I guess. But anyway, um, we gonna chart on and be good, man. Um, this platform that we have right now is um, is is really thriving, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for giving the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Look at that. We got more thumbs up than we got people inside. Boy, I love you guys. Look at that. You guys are. You guys better stop being so amazing because then I'm gonna start doing this more consistently. Um, what's what's a good time for you guys, man? Is now a good time to be doing these lives, or is it a little bit late in the daytime or whatever? Earlier, later. Now, I can't be, I'm supposed to have been going already, you guys. I apologize, not about you guys, but, you know, L.A. and Butler waiting on me. You know, we got things to do. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Um, I am, ooh, man, you guys been asking questions. I've been just talking away. Let's see here. So, take a break. We're going to ask some questions. Let's go ahead and see what you guys, God dang, you guys been asking. You guys been... See, this is what this is what I tell you guys. Like, you guys be asking me questions and be like, you guys be on it, man. I love you guys, though. I appreciate it. I'm gonna get to it. Stop freaking texting me and calling me after seven o'clock. And if you text me with the, hey, I know it's late, that just means you totally disrespectful. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you gotta text me, hey, I know it's late, but it's disrespectful as hell. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you are disrespectful. And I sound, and I see this as some disrespect. Because if I call somebody and I know it's late, like asking me about a dog for sale is not an emergency. Like seriously, no dog is that emergency of buying a dog. Like seriously, it's a wait time for a dog for me anyway. So you're not gonna get a dog tomorrow. Like it's crazy. Like don't start off on a negative foot, especially if you know my time. So if you say, hey, I watch all your videos and I didn't know your time, you're a liar. Cause if you leave me a voice message and some people have called me, heard my voice message and hang up and call back again. So you know what I do? Block. I don't even listen. I don't even listen to your voice message. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So if you get mad and be like, hey, I wonder why he don't call me back or whatever, I pretty much either block you or delete your number. Like I don't care. Like it's crazy. 
Um, so let's get started with some of the questions and answers. Friday night, we keep it positive. I don't go negative stuff. Let's go positive. So yeah, just know what type of call me, um, text me, and everything else. And if you really want to get get in touch with me, and it's after hours, just inbox my Facebook, my my Instagram, or something like that. I'll get to you then. But whatever. Uh, a million dollars worth of game straight knowledge, Truman Scott. Appreciate it. Um, uh, to be honest, all kind of animals are perfect. Uh, all animals are perfect for someone, just not for everyone. Um, you know, and I don't want no one to keep thinking like I'm trying to downplay dogs itself, period. Because, like I said before, dogs can't control, like, none of us can control how we look. Our parents is the ones that decided our fate on how we look and their genetics and their parents and their parents are our, our ancestors. Because of our ancestors is, is how we look. Like, I look this way because of my parents. Like, it's not because of anything I did. Unless some of you guys go get sculptured and the doctor, you know, doctor do you right or whatever, then sure. But that's what I mean. Um, how much are your puppies? Uh, Hey, how how do you match a new pup to a new family, or is it? Um, how do I match dogs? Uh, I match dogs by when you call me and you're getting a dog, we match what you're looking for in a dog, and we get our dogs that suit the characteristics and qualities of what you're looking for, and we put them together when your number comes up to provide the best dog suited for you. Okay, I hope that answers that. My God, why is my phone cutting off for some reason? This is stupid. What's going on? One more. I just lost my... I just lost my... Um... There we go. We're back. Um... Uh, -da -da. Sorry, you guys. Got to get back to the difference. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, man, those are some beautiful dogs. I'm a barber, so this is a good time to be live. Appreciate it. Hey, feed me up, baby. <laughs> um, I'm a barber too, but not just a licensed one. <laughs> uh, man, you guys are asking me a question that is is pushing the other ones up or whatever. Okay, a million dollars worth of, of game straight, of game straight knowledge. Truman Scott, I appreciate that, man. We always trying to get it in there for you guys. That's why I came to to you because you got the right combo of males and females. Arlen Green, I appreciate you, Bubba. Always do, man. Um, nothing but jewels, open wings. Appreciate that, Bubba. To be honest, dogs are perfect. At least they are better than people. I don't always say dogs are better than people. I think it's just a. I think that's a, such a that's such a touchy subject when you really get in depth about it. People can be an amazing people can be amazing. Dolls can be amazing. Dolls can be ruthless. People can be ruthless. It's just about getting the right thing, um, the right match, you know, and seeing that. Because some people can't see what other people see in someone. Like you ever had a teacher that says, "Hey, I see potential in that person," and some people say, "Hey, man." That guy is nothing. That's why you call it rehabilitation. Some people are like, hey, that guy can really be great. He just wasn't given the opportunity or the right circumstances, and people build with you as well. So we can do that as well. Um, Scott, yes, I am saving and hustling for my dog now. <laughs> I'm listening. Your content has really changed. You focus on everyone else. No, I don't focus on everyone else, man. My content is always about my dogs. It's to enlighten people about what's going on realistically. You know what I mean? Um, I don't shy away from man. This this channel is created by me and me only. I don't have no. I have no. Uh, I have no body over me that tells me what to do, what to do, or whatever. And my content is really based on how I feel and what I what I want to do. I want to talk today about. You know, if me talking about someone, see my surgery I had now? So if me talking about haters or whatever the case is, it's not me focusing on the haters. It's really me showing people who's up and coming in this kennel 
in this world of breeding what to look out for. Because if you don't have knowledge about what is going on, then you'll fall for anything. You know what I mean? So it's not me talking about my content has changed because I still talk about, it's more educational. Because I could sit up here all day and show you guys this cute little puppies running around all day and you're not educated about the dogs and why you're buying the perfect dogs or whatever. I'm not into selling, like my, my job isn't to just try to sell you guys a dog. That's why you would never see me advertise a dog and say, hey, come on and buy them dogs now. Come on, put them deposits now. Come on, do it, do it, do it. No, I tell you guys, do your research first. And I always state that my dogs are always sold out before they're born. So I, it's no gimmicks or anything else like that as well. It's just me trying to educate you guys for people who want to buy dogs and for the future as well too. Um, Facts. How many generations deep are you? I'm deep. <laughs> How much is a pup? Calling that. Thanks. A lot of politics. Uh, a lot of politics in the shows. Absolutely. Going back to the show spot. We're talking about the shows. Um, an hour is in the comments and a few minutes ago if you want the contact. I would rather go to a working dog event than confirmation shows. Just my opinion. Absolutely. I mean, I'm more about, I like working dogs as well too. Um, there are some dogs that don't have papers that actually do amazing jobs as well too, but it's a lot of dogs show you their working skills. It's like, I call it the combine, um, the NFL combine, where they're able to show you um, where they work out and all that kind of stuff. And you see the potential of what this dog can do for you and everything else, that athleticism of that dog and from there. Um, the last video was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like sharp muzzles, not bulldog sharp though. I agree with you. Some people are so concerned with the look of the dog and not the temperament. That's also true. That's why I told you guys as well, that's looking at the temperaments of the dogs as well. The little puppy is trying to get some camera time. You sir got some of the best dogs job. Well done brother, appreciate it. Keep peeping in the corner. Y'all see, hold on a second. Y'all see the dog with the legs in the air? <laughs> I'm trying to find my camera while I do it, but it's right there. Either way, you see it. Um, no, 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 not that one. Sorry, when you guys were telling me I wasn't looking, my bad. It's the one where the gate divides. Oh, the one over here, y'all were looking at. <laughs> Okay. See, my camera shows me a little bit, but it goes a little bit more on the camera you guys see. Um, we're lucky to have you on YouTube to give us a lot of game, bro. Absolutely, uh, Chavez. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you guys understanding what the purpose of my videos are is to educate, not just uh, entertain you guys, man. Jay-Z said, it's only entertainment. But I'm not only entertainment, man. I'm, I'm about knowledge and, and giving you guys a game so you guys can move forward. And teach the next generation, man, about dogs and not just saying you got a German Rottweiler or something crazy like that. Um, let's see. Yep, they look like a Labrador. <laughs> um, you truly thought me. You, you truly thought me the meaning of trust and process. Oh, it really taught me the meaning of. Hey, absolutely, man. That's the whole thing about it. Just trusting the process, man. And really, um, trusting is a big thing. And I mean, trusting is a big thing to ask of someone, um, you know, trust me. And I tell people, just trust the process, man. And sometimes people are like, I want this big dog, Tony. I see a dog in your yard and I want, my puppy isn't there yet. I'm like, bro, give it time. Like, dang, people, some people get a dog and like, hey, I want this dog to be 150 pounds right now. I'm like, bro, wait, bro, calm down. Don't be so caught up with the weight. Don't be caught up with the head size. Get the Patience, man, it's, it's gonna happen. So, appreciate you guys understanding that as well. Um, da -da -da. Uh, you gotta get the other one so he can get some camera time. <laughs> oh, you turned his back. How are the tails naturally short? The tails are not naturally short. These dogs have their tails already docked. And someone was asking me, do you dock the dog's tails? Yes, I do. Um, my dog's tails are docked by me or the puppies. Um, I like my dog's tails short. I've taken my dogs to vets before and they've always been a little too long and I hate a rock wall with a tail that looks like a dog on Dogo or something. I don't know what the King Corso long middle. I hate that crap, man. If, 
and I, I don't like a dog with a tail either, but if you guys want a dog and you're buying a dog from me, you want a dog with a tail, you can get a dog with a tail. That's totally fine. Um, your dogs are beautiful. Camera don't show how nice they are live. <laughs> they really don't, man. Question is, what's, supposed, what's the purpose of checking out the dog's bite even if you really want a quality dog and not starting a kennel? What's the purpose of checking out a dog's bite? Well, the quality of a dog is, I mean, even if you're not starting a kennel, you want a dog that's going to show quality. I mean, it's, it's like saying, hey, why do I need the best tires on my car even though I'm not racing it? You know what I mean? Quality tires do great for stopping and everything else. It's, it serves more of a purpose of the dog. And it, because so many people start off with me and say, I don't want to breed, Tony. But then they get their dogs and like, God, this dog is so perfect in quality, man. Now I want to breed. Now what? But because you were okay with getting a subpar dog that had this defect and that defect and that defect. And the whole purpose of breeding is to better the breed. You want to better it. You know what I mean? Not just sit uh, stagnant on a breg you have. So if your dog has faults like overbiting, underbiting, all those kind of stuff there, you really don't want to breed those dogs as well. Um, you know, and traits that you don't want to have. You want to breed out those traits. You don't want to breed those dogs that have the imperfections of what you're looking for um, as well. So hope that kind of answered a little bit. Um, there are some people who said they have been waiting a year and only went up a couple of spots. You know what, y'all do? I'm gonna be on the shoot. Um, Super Ted Z7. I don't know how I wanna respond to that, but I think it's really dumb to even give it a, 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 a answer, really. Um, they, who's they, give me names, how about that? I hate when y'all come at me and like, they say this, they, who's they? Tell me they is. Uh, that's stupid to me. Is it better to get a male and female at the same time or should get one? My concern being separated. Um, me personally, I think it's a, it's, it depends on your situation. When you call, what's your situation, where you're at, how you're living, conditions, your size, all that stuff makes a difference on what's best to getting a male, female first, two, one, two males. So every situation is different. And when people call me about a dog, I usually give them a difference depending on the situation that I see best fit. Um, but I'm not always have to be the only one that's that way, so, you know what I mean? Um, hi, Tony, you give us good information about your puppies, keep the good work. Thank you, Kevin Slaughter. Malcolm, yep, in Ohio, it's an hour ahead. Uh, man, those are beautiful dogs. I'm a bopper, so this is a good time to be live a bit earlier. I would like it earlier because it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Lee, I got you. Look at those perfect loop balls behind them. Fridays work good, our weekends. How long is the waiting period on the female? I may need to have to consult with you soon. If you guys want consults, man, just hit me up. I can give you a team. I can relate. I bred birthday show pigs. See, I want a pig. I want a house pig. I don't know. Listen, 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 listen. You guys got to understand this, okay? Whoever breeds miniature little pigs, let me know. I want a little miniature pig. And I'm gonna get a house for it and everything. It's not to be anything else. I'm, and of course, I'm gonna call it bacon. Of course, the name, name's gonna be bacon. If it's a girl, a sausage. I don't know. Girl should probably be ham. Ham for a girl, bacon for a boy. That's what I want. I want them. If I get a boy and a girl, that'd be all. I, I want to do pigs stay small? I don't know. But anyway, I just went off, man. I just, I've been saying that for a long time. I want, I want a, I want a little miniature pig. But somebody said I couldn't get one, so whatever. Hmm. I mean, consult with you. Are some of your dogs picky eaters? Like, do they eat kibble alone, or do you have to mix the kibble with meat, such as ground beef? What do you do if you if they want the kibble? Uh, my dogs aren't picky eaters, so they're pretty much in it. Um, uh, they're pretty much good to go. Um, my dogs don't really have an issue with uh, eating. I guess sometimes people get. Dogs will try you. I won't say dog, but rock walls will definitely try you. Because sometimes those dogs will definitely see that. Because you're going to get caught like, oh, I don't want not to eat. So I heard I can eat. So I feel bad. So here you go. Uh, here you go. And the dog's like, if I just hold out, I know I'm going to get food anyway. So you're going to get it um, as well. So uh, 
But no, some dogs can be stubborn, but hunger will always win. I promise you that. So, um, no, but I don't have any issue with dogs not eating um, things or whatever. Um, oh my God, I didn't read really update my. Uh, what? Uh, someone asked, do you sell your dog food? Okay, I can't relay. Uh, how many times a day do you feed your puppies? Um, my puppies, it, it's, it's not like a how many times a day. It's more, because I got puppies. So when you got a dog, your one dog is going to be different. So you got different appetites, different feeding times. So it's constantly trying to keep it there for them. You know what I mean? So it's, it's different. It's, I do things a little bit differently. I don't know, maybe, sorry, but it's hard to answer that question, like how many times, it's not like a set time. Some days I might feed it more than some, it's just based on the activities they do and all that kind of stuff. Um, someone asked, do you still sell your dog food? My dog food, I'm not currently selling the dog food right now. I appreciate you guys because when I started selling the dog food, y'all guys made it successful. And I thank you guys very much. But because of my, I'm gonna be honest with you, my health, mental health, it was so much to take on. It was just too much. I'm gonna be honest. With you. Like I gotta get back to a space where it became so stressful that it was so much of a blessing that it became so stressful to keep up with orders. Cause as soon as I would do like a whole, I would do like three cows in one week, and it was like you guys had the cows, the dog food already sold out before I could even get the dang cows, and I was like, I'm gonna do three. And doing three cows and doing that stuff and slaughtering them and doing this late nights, man, I was going bad at like so late at night time and not even being able to enjoy my life. So it's not about the money or anything else. It was about my sanity. Um, you know, so I'm getting better. That's why you see me doing more with the kennels and all the stuff here to make life easier. So that way I can get back to the spot where I am. But when I do get back to it, because I will get back to it, it's only going to be for those that actually got dogs from me. I'm not selling dog food to anybody else. If you haven't bought dog food, if you haven't bought a dog from me, I'm not selling you dog food. So there you go. And when I start this time, I'm going to keep it up because I'm going to hire people to do it with me. So, um, quick question. What other dog related content creators do you follow on YouTube in Hello from Louisiana? Sean Shell. You want to know my honest God's opinion truth is I don't follow anybody That's why my page is so original That I swear to God I don't follow any Breeders like that um, I got friends I support that's on YouTube Like RK is on YouTube uh, JLC is on YouTube But they're not On a consistent basis like well RK is But you know like other people aren't Like on a consistent basis but I don't I don't know I mean it's it's, it's, it's not that I'm saying that I don't, because I love when people support the channels and everything here, so I can't do something that I ask that of them. I'm just so busy that I really don't have, I don't follow other people's content. You know what I mean? So if you always see my page, it's always original. It's never like, oh, I see him copying somebody. You will never, I swear to God, you will never see me do that. And if it is something similar or whatever, it's maybe by coincidence or whatever, but my page is just original. I'm just me. Like tonight, I come on here and it was in my head, like, what's quality? Okay, I didn't have anything written down. I swear to God, you see my phone was dead. Nothing's on me. It's just, I like to just speak with you guys, man. Keep it original. It's who I am. That's why it comes off as authentic because it's just what it is. Um, at what age do you see puppy's personality? Man, it just depends on the puppy. Some puppies show it really early, aggressiveness. Some puppies show a dominance really early. Some show it before they go home. Um, some personalities kind of develop as they, the personalities are growing as they develop, but that's why the collars on the dogs, you kind of see the, I watch them, I have a notepad that keeps, hey, green is such and such, red is such and such, blue is such and such. Next week, I watch it again. Okay, this dog has a pattern of being X, Y, Z, and so on and so forth. But you kind of get an understanding of those dogs. Uh, amazing salute, Tony Mike. Hand again, what's up, Bubba? Uh, keep doing, keep, keep up the good work. Appreciate that. Marshall Fleming, where did you get the fence that puppies are in now? So, these fence, the fence, <laughs> you guys really want to know where this fence came from? Seriously? Like, this is, I made this. <laughs> I made this, this whole thing. 
So these are from old fence door. These are fence doors that were broken or rusted out or whatever. You know, I pressure wash like four times a day. So the wart that I learned to now, you know, stain the fence so it doesn't get rusted. But some of these are from rusted fencing and everything else. So I cut it and I weld it down and everything else. And I just made it like the clamps on it and made a circle out of it. You know what I mean? So you guys see, I made a circle out of it. If you look in the middle, that's actually a fence as well. I just didn't cut it yet to make it even or whatever, to make it nice and clean, which I, probably, which I will probably cut later. But it's not about the it's not about the look for me. It's what works. So that's why that's what that is. It's used uh, gate doors and stuff that I just welded put together. Not welded, clamped down. Glad you like it though. <laughs> Um, I know you did, I know you don't discuss prices, but is there a different prices in your puppies? Is there different prices in my puppies? My prices have, I have different levels to my dogs. If you want to know, just give me a call. Um, I had Rottweilers before when I moved from Louisiana to Texas, couldn't bring them with me. One of the males I had had pretty much all black face. I was told it was an old world breed, not sure. But saying a dog has a, a color marking doesn't define a dog or anything. Cause some dogs got all black face and may just be because of the parents was a darker generation of that dog. Or some dog might've been bred with a lab somewhere in the past or what, I don't know. But I, I, I would like to think that the markings on the face of a dog doesn't decide, determine where a dog is actually from. I think that's kind of a, but it could be, I'm not saying it's not so, you know. Um, these dogs need to be researched. There are a lot to know. Absolutely they are. If you want a working dog, what should I look for in a puppy? Um, drive, working dog that has drive. Uh, I meant one of the kids. What are some warning signs of a bad breeder? Um, breeder that lies, breeder that looks up and just, first of all, breeder that actually tells you he got a German Rottweiler, that's the first thing. Or right, even got German on their page, they sell German Rottweilers. Our uh, breeders, you can tell, is always about your money first. Um, signs of a bad, it's so many different signs of bad breeders, man. Um, a, a breeder that would try to convince you to buy a dog when, he, when he, it's not what you're looking for. A breeder who works with you, not work at you. You know what I mean? Not trying to get you to buy something just because of quick money and dollar bills. Um, and you can't just always go with a quick smile face too, because people can easily smile in your face and be such a hypocrite. Uh, but that's why you gotta do your research and you see breeders. If, if I am your person you hold and stand it to, then use that. If somebody else is, use that and what you like. But it's so much, that's a, that's a, heated, that's a loaded question with so much stuff uh, as well. Um, you give us good information about your puppies. Keep it up. Thank you. My Roddy's has an underbite. His bottom canines hit his upper palate. Yeah, overbite. He has an overbite. Uh, Tony, you have Hollywood quality dolls. In fact, have you ever been approached by production companies or ever parents? And music videos. Yes, I have. I have. Um, man, we get celebrities all the time that get my dogs. And one thing you guys understand is I said, man, I am not big on the accolades and stuff. Of course, I get sponsor offers all the time. Celebrities, football, basketball players, and all this kind of stuff all the time. Man, I just never post them. Uh, 2022, I might just start doing it now. I don't know. But I just don't want people to buy dogs because of a celebrity that bought a dog or someone they know in the NFL or basketball that bought dogs, man. I, I just, it's, to me, a dog being inside of a movie doesn't mean that I have the best dogs. And, you know, and yes, it's good for attention and it's good for publicity, but that's just never been my scribe. Like, it's good if it does, it does, if it's not, it's not. But I've never been like, oh my God, Hollywood called me. So I got, I'm not saying like Hollywood is ringing my doorbell or nothing else like that. And I'm knocking my door down like, hey, give me one of them dogs. I got it. No, but 
I've gotten offers, emails and stuff, and they say like, hey, we would like your, your dog to be a part of this or whatever. And it's like, I'm more concerned about if the right offer comes in the right timing, then sure. But, you know, I don't want to knock anything, blessings that could be, but uh, future. But right now, um, I'm more focused on just giving you guys the best dogs possible, man, and focusing on that. And that's what I think. My love and passion has never been about the public eye, but more about the people that are rocking with your boy and they get quality that way. So, um, but uh, it's just not letting you get no pig. <laughs> are you talking about a pop belly pig? Yes, I don't know. Is there a pig that stays small? Like, because I see this pig on TV and they're small and cute and I want one. Like, I swear to God, I want one so bad. I've been saying that for the longest. Like, this little pig that was on TV is so smart. And they say pigs are really smart. So, you guys, um, even if they, I want a bake, even if it gets a little bit, you know, size, I want bacon or ham to have, um, be nice, man. I want a nice little one, so. Uh, appreciate Tony, will you go live on Instagram? Y'all got me go live on Instagram? I can. I just like YouTube for you guys, but I can for you guys. I mean, I just don't. Um, I'll put up this phone and that phone, one Instagram, one live, one. I would do it at my desk from now on because I got multiple phones. So I'll put one on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, TikTok and all that kind of stuff as well. So if you're not on TikTok, y'all go check out TikTok as well. We'll do that as well. Just a reminder, don't forget my channel. Thanks. Huh? Don't forget your channel. Oh, your channel. Let me see. Nancy, hold on a second. Uh, go to channel. All right, Nancy. I am on your channel right now. Y'all see that? I'm on Nancy's channel. I am going to subscribe. I just subscribed, Nancy. Look at that. I just subscribed to your channel. So I am on your channel. Supporting that all the way. All right. So I'm on that. Let's see. Let's go through people's channel and let me start subscribing to you guys' channel, right? Who's subscribing to mine? But in order for me to subscribe to your channel, you gotta be subscribed to mine. So I'm gonna give some people some shout outs and subscribing as well too. Um, we appreciate the love, brother, and how you want a pig. I told y'all it's Neverland Ranch. Most love from RK. <laughs> Be careful with you. <laughs> yeah, that's RK Rock Walls, guys. I'll tell you, but I saw the I saw the YouTube channel. I was telling you guys about that has a YouTube channel. Go check him out as well too. So you go to his channel. That's how his channel looks, you guys. Uh, let me see. I got it. Yo, he has. He has, let me see, maybe this thing's too bright. There we go. Maybe that didn't help at all. I don't know. There we go. So go to the channel and let's hit the subscribe button. I'm already subscribed already. But, you know, he got some good videos on it too, man, you guys. That's, I see that boy got 901 views in one day. I see you, Sean. I see you. I see you. I see you, bubble. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, yeah, go check out RK Rock Wallace as well, man. You guys missed out, I'm telling you. My boy got some dogs that's coming in there. Um, it's already going now, but is, I told you, <laughs> is it personally hard for you to let go of your puppies to new homes after spending eight weeks with them? Uh, it used to be, but not anymore now because I understand that in order for me to get a dog that I was bringing in loving dogs, they understood that. That's why we vetted people and understand that before you get a dog, you're going to get top, top quality dogs. And I know my dogs are going to good places, so it's a good thing for me to see that these dogs are going someplace good. Um, so no, it's not that hard anymore. It's still like a... I'm more happy to see those dogs going to happy homes with people. You can see the love in their eyes when they get their dogs. Um, uh, is bigger always better? No. Easy, no. That's an easy question, no. Um, you've never seen me mention my dog's weights or anything else on my page. Some people get caught up in just how big the dogs are. And that's not it. Like, I don't care to have... Um, um, it's not about just having the biggest dog. If someone just only cares about how big the dogs are, that's something sad. But it's, 
Every kennel is different though. Some kennel only care about size. Some kennel only care about how small their dogs are. Some people who small kennels only, they'll tell you they only care about small because their dogs are small. But it's just, a lot of kennels drive to what they have in their yard. If they have a bunch of small dogs, they're going to tell you, oh, that's all the standard breed. I like standard. My dog is 80 pounds and that's what it's supposed to be like. Yeah, but, but, as soon as you get a big dog, then you're going to be like, yeah, this is better quality now. Because if that kennel does shows, they're going to talk about shows all the time. If that kennel does working show dog, um, whatever, and they're going to talk about that. So it's a lot of dogs talk about exactly, um, you know, what they have in their yard. The puppy is up now. Can you get some camera time? Which puppy? Am I reading these comments too late or something? Because everybody is out. Yeah, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all right quick. These puppies are out. I don't know what y'all talking about. Sorry, I just woke them up. What's... Look at this, though. Scratch it up, mama. Scratch it up, mama. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all saw it, man. Let's see. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Um I don't care how much you want to like pigs not having it unless he's going to be outside with the cows. First of all, you're going to stop. Listen, Smoke, you're going to stop it now. Listen, you're going to stop. If you ain't supporting me, get off. Listen, you got to be on my side at least once now. God dang. Take my side for once. Man, but I want the pig. In, the pig don't have to even be in the house at all times. I don't want the pig to be in the house and out the house at the same time. You know what I mean? That's all I want. I just want to, I want a dog. I want a pig that's going to be both. So that's all I'm saying. But you're going to stop being hated. The puppy is now up, so can we get the camera time? I got some camera time. Another question. Have you set up a kennel for your new pig? Also create videos frequently and saying hello to YouTube. Um, no, I have not. I'm not really. Uh, I didn't do my research first. I'm not going to lie before I actually get a pig. I've been watching some videos. I know videos ain't everything, but I've been watching some videos. I actually been out to the ranch where some pigs were at. Not the small pigs, but I've been seeing the care and stuff. And I got to make sure I don't put too much load on myself because I'm already doing so much now. Um, what can first time owners do to raise healthy rats and reduce gender? Man, that's a, well, that's a, that's a, uh, a consultation one there. You can call me for that, but that's way too much there. Oh, God. I just found a snuggle with them all, Miss Russell. <laughs> Mike Hennigan. <laughs> you see the little puppies? All right. All oh, they're adorable. They are, man. They are very much adorable. So, you guys, man, I appreciate you guys for coming through. But no pigs and I guessed it. Oh my God. Mike, don't fall for that. Listen, I want y'all to say Tony needs a pig. Tony needs a pig. Tony needs a, matter of fact, the person that convinces her to get me a pig, I, I promise you, you get a hat, you get a shirt, you get a jacket, you get a hoodie, you, you even get a spot on the list. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Listen, y'all better start telling me. Y'all better take my side. I want a pig, man. Oh, man. Uh, just text and say, Tony want a pig. Because I swear to God, I've been saying, how long have I been saying I want a pig? See that? Q55, I got you. See, look, you get a shirt. You're the first one that said Tony needs a shirt. Tony needs a pig. I got you. I got you. What? Shut Shonda, what the heck are you saying no to the pig? Are you serious? What? Y'all some haters. How y'all gonna say no? What if that pig may be the best little... You know what, man? Some things is best to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know, so... I'm still saying what's happening. So, you guys, come on, man. Hook your boy up. <laughs> Oh my God, listen, 
I want a pig, man. Tony will build you a she shed if he can get a pig. I want, I want a belt. <laughs> Yo, Sky, I got you. I got you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all guys something later on, but not yet right now. You know, just, just, just know I went to Lowe's and it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? So, Sky, man, look. They, but don't be happy to build a she shed, though. I gotta build a whole she shed, though. You know what I mean? I don't know why y'all got me building things. Why can't Tony just get one because he's an awesome person? Shonda, I don't like you no more. You, you, you done, you done, man, mm -mm. you on the wrong side. You ain't even on my side, man. What? Tamisa, are you serious? Oh, y'all gonna double team, but oh, I like bro, but I wanna keep. Y'all, y'all garbage. You know what? Listen, forget what I said with RK. Unsubscribe right now. Dang it. He, he, he taking the wrong side. I thought he'd be on my side, man. If you subscribe, unsubscribe right now. He, he is not on my side. I can't believe y'all took my time on y'all side. And y'all just, you know what? And don't, Black Crow, I'm going I'm to block you too. <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't nothing, man. Keep the pig in the she shit. Hey, I like that idea. Tony. <laughs> oh, wow. Peggy Knox, I'm with you. Y'all, y'all some traitors. I swear y'all some traitors. I swear y'all are some bad, horrible traitors. Y'all know I've been wanting a pig. You know what? Think about my kids. Don't y'all think my kids would love a baby pig? Think about that. I think my kids are over the puppies. Like they're like, hey, we see the puppies. They play with them. They love them, and they wash them, and they clean them. But a pig will be something different. I'm telling you. you no, know, I'm, I'm trying to use my kids as a you know stepping side or whatever cases. So. But you guys, um... <laughs> oh man. Aaron, you my boy, man, Aaron. You know you my boy. Listen, Aaron, listen. Mr. Collins, Aaron, you know you my boy, man. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Look, when you come, you can come on ride the, 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 the cars and everything else, and you can have a good time, and we can have a good pig and everything else. So I think you guys should, should definitely tell her. Um, so when I get this pig, is anybody gonna welcome me into their home because I might get kicked out of my house? I don't know. I'm gonna need a place to stay at for a while. Just saying, I might need a place to stay. Um, we're gonna get this pig, y'all. And we should do is pass this pig around. So when I get the pig one day, I'm gonna give it to Mike. So Mike Hennigan is gonna have the pig with me. So one week, I'm gonna have the pig. Then Mike's gonna have the pig. Then Sky's gonna have the pig. Then RK's gonna have the pig. Then Tanisa and RK gonna watch the pig for a week. And we're gonna keep passing this pig along so the pig's gonna be familiar with everybody. And we're gonna come back. Um, you know, so you guys definitely, 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 let's get this pig started. Exactly! See, Reggie, oh my God! Boy, I love it what y'all think. See, a pig for me, the world for you. See, that, that's, that, that's, I want a pig and a goat. See, I said a goat. But people say a goat, if you got, if water can get through it, a, a goat can get through it. Or was it a sheep? I don't know. I think it was a goat. So they said a goat would tear up everything you got. But I do like some curry. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So, but no, this is, this is what we got, man. Hey, I don't want to stay for no spell. I don't think I'm going to be coming back. I, I, I need to stay for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did? Okay, 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 okay. So, Sky. Sky said, but Sky, I don't want to build a she shed, though. That's a problem. I don't want to build a she shed. So, can this be considered a she shed? And just take the dogs out? And this is the she shed. This little piggy cried me all the way over. <laughs> oh my god, you guys got me cracking up, man. Oh my god. You can you can come stay with me. I'll take the pig. Lee, you can't you can take the pig, but when I leave, I want to take my pig with me too. Cause you 
you can't just take my pig now. You already got the puppy. You already got a dog from me. And I'm grateful I'm, and I'm blessed and I'm happy for it. But And you're from South Carolina? But Lee, you can't just take my pig too. You know what I mean, you gotta give my pig back. And no, anybody, before anybody says anything, bacon or ham will not be used for food. It's gonna be strictly for love and companionship, like my cows are for now. <laughs> no, they're just, they're family pets, my kids' cows. But no, I want a, I want a pig, seriously. I swear to God, I really want a pig. So, um, if somebody wants to be nice enough and um, get me a pig, there might be some special gifts for you guys. <sighs> oh my God. You guys should give me a pig. I'm serious. I really want a pig. But anyway, it's nighttime. I'm going to do one more tour around the garage and the shop outside so you guys can see the dogs. And then I'm going off and to talk about a pig because Sky trying to make me do work. Everybody else trying to get me to do something else. Hey, uh-oh, little belly rub. I think this one wants a belly rub. Oh, get, get that rub, Blue. Blue wants that rub. Blue wants that rub. Don't get my toes in there. See? Look at the eyes. Ah, uh, there we go. And now you guys. You guys wanna see something? Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah. Can the dogs, puppies, eat this? Got a surprise for you guys. Uh, let me give them a little quick snack right quick. Give the puppy some chicken. And then I'm off. There we go. Do -do -do. Ooh, ooh. You have a problem. So, can the puppies eat? This right now as well too. Yes, they can. They go ham. But sorry, didn't mean to throw it at you, but you know. See, they love the chicken legs. There we go. We got the puppies are eating leg quarters. See that? Da -da 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 -da. Hey, I don't have any more right now. I'm. I'm this one's looking like. Hey, you got some more, bro? See that? Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh oh, I built the she shit. Okay, so I just now seen the mess to see. <laughs> you said if you got it approved, get to lose. Who wants rose bush that's why the lake? <laughs> Sky, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I think you need to head over there and knock some sense of Tony's head. <laughs> she said, she said. <laughs> what is a she said? Aaron, man, it's a, it's a place where women can go and, and block out men. 
out of their lives permanently. I live in a mobile home, so the pig cannot stay with Nancy C, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, I just remind him on every live. <laughs> Scott! Scott, did you really just switch sides, man? I thought, I really thought we were on the same side, I swear. There's something we, she, want, our space only design how we want, like a man cave. I guess that's that's kind of like what it is, but you guys, like, mm -mm. you guys take she shed to a whole nother new level. That's what y'all do. Y'all don't. Mm -mm. Thank you, Mike Hennigan, man. <laughs> T. Dotson, what's going on? What's going on? I want the belt. You want the belt, Sky? You want the belt? <laughs> <laughs> Sky, I can't believe. I can't believe y'all just. Sky just switched on me, y'all. I'm at the block Sky for a little bit. It just totally switched out on me. So we got that. All right. So I want you guys to see puppies. You guys see everything, man. I'm telling you. Boom, 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 boom. The little one sleeping, but to bring mama inside for them so they can get some good food with mama. And forgot Beast was out here the whole entire time. Look at Beast. Watch the Beast. God dang it, Beast over this night pick his head. Everybody wanna bark and snitch. Y'all some snitches. Beast, come here, big boy. What up, Bubba? You halfway sleep. Look at that six month old male dog. Just sitting there like, hey, daddy. Hey. Beast is like, yo, pops. The shiny one that looks like a boxing <laughs> The baby got the leg. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you guys the belt that Sky is trying to steal from me. But Sky, I don't get it why I gotta build something in order for me to get something. That shows like that's work. Why do I have to build something in order for me to, to just have to get something nice? Like I don't see why. Ugh. That's like me saying, oh, I want a, um, a Lamborghini, so that means that somebody should do something nice for me too as well for me to get a Lamborghini. Just saying, just saying. So this is the belt. This is the belt here, Sky? This the one you want? Hmm. Or do you want the big one? You want the big one or the small one? See, the little pig? No, 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 you already said the little one, so we're gonna take the little one. Now, if you can convince her to get this little pig without me building a she shed, this is all yours. See, Scott, we're on public live video saying this right now. This is, all, matter of fact, I'll do it for you, Scott. I'm, I'm gonna do it for you. It's worth it. If you convince her to give me this pig without having to build a she shed, I promise you, this is all yours. These things ain't cheap. <laughs> this is all yours. There you go. So, steal me a candy. Steal me a candy. Steal me an airhead. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Um, get ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Pigs are filthy animals. Man, birds are filthy animals too, but we got them. But it's all about how you maintain it, how you keep it clean. People said dogs are dirty too. But it's all about how you maintain the dogs and keep it clean. I'm a very clean person, so. But no one's gonna convince me not to get a pig, so. There we go. 
All right, you guys. But what about my happiness? She can be happy, but I need to be happy too. And I don't get happy building she shits. I've been building my whole life, it seems like. My body is sore. <laughs> I need Ben Gay. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> oh man, y'all are so wrong. Y'all, nah, you ain't right. Y'all ain't right. All right. So it's been two hours I'm on this thing. I said I was good for 30 minutes and y'all got me over two hours. Because y'all don't want to convince her to get me my dang she shit. It's all good. So, you guys got to find out about quality. What quality means to me. The dogs itself. Y'all got to understand too about me getting a she shit. Y'all understand the dogs up there. See the puppies and the dogs. Puppies eating chicken. And a whole lot. So, it's not going to happen. Man, you know what? Pack my little pickup and we leaving. We gonna get our pick. So, um, <laughs> I'm stop praying for it. <laughs> Smoke, I hate you. Shut up. I hate you. All right, so let me go clean up this kennel series. See little poop stains and everything else in there. Clean it up, stools. Sanitize everything down. Put these mats down, put them over here as well. So I think sanitized. I got some work to do before I get in the house. So you guys, thank you guys for rocking with your boy, man. I appreciate it. Love you guys as always. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe button, the share button, the share button, the share button, the share button. Share this on your Instagram, well, your YouTube, your personal Facebook page, all that kind of stuff, man. Just uh, definitely appreciate it. So you guys be good, treat each other right. Take life serious, but not too serious, where you can enjoy life. I'm out.